and welcome to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter and we are about to do another purse yay so i'm gonna take you outside so we can get started with our first step make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content now i started spray painting i'm gonna turn you guys started spray painting but i ran out of paint like it just started being real funky so we had to go get some more white spray paint so i have my white spray paint here in flat and we're going to finish off our black shells here with a, a coat of white paint and this is white and flat. It has the primer and the paint in it together. So I'm just making sure I'm, I'm getting everything covered real good. And then we're going to let this dry. Step one. Okay. Let that dry. We'll come back and finish up. All right. So we have it mixed up here with the iridescent white glitter. I'm going to go ahead and pour this right on top I've started pouring I forgot I was recording so I poured a little bit on the first one already and we're gonna come back and pour on the second one I'm really liking this. I think this is going to turn out super cute. And then I'm going to come back with my spatula and just spread it. And I'm just taking it and wiping it, making sure I'm covering all the areas. And then it'll just roll down the sides as it is doing already over here. And before it start to do that, I want to go ahead and have as much as I can on top before it starts to roll and down the sides. Making sure that the top is covered and then work along the sides. It'll level itself out you just want to make sure it's covered. Uh -oh. and I have to be careful because I have this plastic laying down and it's not as easy to pull the resin off of it as the parchment paper I ran out. So we have to use what we have to keep this project going. So I'm just trying to be as careful as I can, but making sure I get coverage all the way around it. So that one is pretty covered as far as the top part and these sides is looking good. And that one, this one, we need a little bit more spoosing up. <laughs> 
but it's running pretty good so i just want to make sure we getting it along the sides and i still have quite a bit left so and what i'm doing is i'm just going to pour right along the sides here to make sure that it runs over this edge so I'll pour just a little bit it's going to run down and then we'll come back and make sure that it's covered nice and good and we're going to do the same on this other side this other one like I said, I'm just running it along the edge and it's covering that whole edge. It's just going to run down it and cover it. I'm coming back in the middle. Making sure that I get it. Everything is nice and even and covered corners this is gonna be cute and this is just gonna drip off into the plastic I'm going to turn it around just so I can make sure that I have everything nice and smooth. So I'm going to do a little quick spin just so I can check these sides. So I'm going to try to get some of this off of the plastic and put it in little areas that I see that it's lacking. Without lifting the plastic up and it touching it. So, I've seen people do uh, sculptures with resin and plastic, so I said, why not use it to complete my project or to lay it inside here? It's looking real nice and even for the most part. And then I'm going to bust, take my um, flame and bust the bubbles, get it nice and smooth. Then we're going to come back, put our words on it. You know, I'm going to logo it up. Got to. Got to logo it up. This is cute for a white purse. Let everything just kind of sit and level out. I'm going to wipe this out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content. I'm going to keep new content coming. It's in the 
much as possible. Thank y'all so much for the subscription so far. Those of you that have subscribed, thank y'all for the comments. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate all the comments, all the um, words of encouragement. We appreciate all that. All that. Thank y'all. And thank y'all for sharing my post and everything. I just really appreciate each and every one of y'all. So, yeah, I'm feeling real loved over here. Thank y'all so much for all the love. All right, we're going to come back and torch it, I think. And just bust the bubbles. Now, you don't want to have to torch it too much. You just want to get the bubbles out just to kind of, you know... Smooth it out, make sure it's nice and shiny. It's got the glitter in there, so it might look a little not as smooth as it normally would when you put that final top coat on. But again, this is just to add that little shimmer on this white. I just didn't want it to be dull. And that was the perfect little shimmer I need, especially by it, it being a fine glitter. Okay, I think my flamer is low. So it's got a little bit more juice in it. Yeah. And so we just knocking the bubbles out, getting it nice and smooth. I have to be careful because this plastic is down. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. I didn't even think about that part. <sighs> but we're doing good so far. So, just make sure if you do have the plastic down, you don't like keep the flame moving. You don't want to burn the plastic up. Okay. Just keep it moving. By the resin being on top of it, it it's not going to burn right away to what I'm seeing. But just keep it moving. And then tomorrow, and then when I do the second coat, it should, I should have some parchment paper, hopefully. Fuzz is getting low. <laughs> Everything is like out of pocket. So if y'all want to donate to the channel the information will be in the link below please i will be grateful and greatly appreciated just help with supplies and things like that so i can keep creating and buying molds and things to share with you guys so y'all can see it here first before y'all spend y'all money but nevertheless okay i think that's good this one don't be wanting to turn off. Okay. Woo. Should be ready to go. All right. So we're going to let this sit. And then we're going to come back and finish it up. Okay. Oh, it's pretty, y'all. I, I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all probably can't see the flakes in here yet. But y'all will be able to see it when I show it to y'all. It is so pretty. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. We are back. We're going to get ready to decorate this shell. It came out pretty. It has the little glitter effects in it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got the little glitter effects in there. Oh, yeah, you can see it when I do it like that. See it? It's got the little white glitter effects. So we're going to go ahead and decorate her. And I've already um, printed and weeded out my little double c logos and we're gonna go ahead and line this up nice and even on the mold because once you set it down it's down so we're gonna go ahead and line it up and place it down y'all i already did the other one so i just wanted to do this one on camera 
so you guys can see it being done but i am loving i say this every purse and every design i am loving and what i'm doing is just creasing the corners over the edge so that it'll be like it's going over the edge of the purse and i'm gonna come back and add a couple a few uh little uh in a little couple of areas i have to just kind of see how it looks but i'm just rubbing it down real good and then we're going to lift up our, make sure that's down on the corners. We're going to lift the paper up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so y'all can be up late, um, uh, notified when I upload new videos. And all of that good stuff and i'm just gonna gently making sure i press this down on the side so that it don't come up and because i think because i used there we go okay and then that one i'm just going to twist and lay it down and then these, everything is looking good. See, just on the corners, I have to, you know, press them down a little bit more. But I'm going to gently peel back, making sure everything stays down. And it's looking good thus far. Y'all, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. Don't know if it'll sell, but I'm sure gonna. This is a pretty white bag. And there you have it. We're gonna put a gloss over it. And I think that is fine, just like that. And then that is the other one. And so, let's see. They go like that. I think that's. That's fine, and it'll have the, the hardware. We're going to get ready to do the hardware for it, and that's the two shells. So, our next step is to cover this with our resin, which that's what we're about to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my box, because I want to make sure that that stays in there, and it gives me a nice, shiny surface. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare some resin. I finally got my um, parchment paper. So we're good with that. And we're going to get ready to resin over the top. And then we'll get ready to do our um, side shields after that. Okay. I'm just positioning it so... Everything can have adequate enough space. I like the resin to stay on my paper. So I'm just making sure that the paper is up um, in the creases and everything. And that way I'll have, it's not, um, you know, too bad. I think that should be fine. All right, so I'm going to mix up some resin. Hold tight. All right, so we are back. I have mixed up about three ounces of resin here. And I'm just stirring. I've been stirring for a minute, so it's about ready. It's good and clear. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start in, in our in the middle of it. I'm gonna drizzle right on top. Grab 
grab my spatula and start running it nice and evenly so that it'll fall over the sides of this shell. Y'all, this is so pretty. I'm so loving this. And then I'll come back and do... Make sure the sides is filled. I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. Pouring as well. Not pouring all my resin out. And I'm just going to drag it along. Making sure that the middle is um, pretty covered. And then you can work it, work the sides and the edges but you want to make sure that your middle is drenched then you can start working towards the outer parts of it and don't be afraid it's going to drip off we're going to be using that um that they dripped off you just pick it up and put it on the mold put it back on the um on the shell and then you just come back and fill it again and now we're going to get ready to start working the sides and that's when you can start taking Picking it up off the parchment paper and paint it with your spatula. These spatulas, again, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. It's a, in the light beauty section, it's a little facial spatula. Sure that all the sides, everything is covered and it's nice and smooth. We'll come back and fire it up with some. Um, I see with that, with what's left, I'm just going over the edge and letting it fall down. So it's, it's three ounces is more than enough to um to cover. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's just amazing how I can have something in my head and bring it to life and it turns out beautifully. Because this is cute. Like I will carry this. Everything is looking covered. I'm going to just spin it around so I can check this other side. But that's looking real good. I can see I see some little spots. Spot right there. So I'll just run it. And then along the side, that's why you want to make sure you, um, you're checking everything. Making sure that it is nice and even because it will 
if it's not, it's, and you'll see it when it dries. And you just have to do another coat over it or whatnot. But that's, and that's extra resin, so you want to make sure you cover and everything is nice and covered in full. And I'm just taking the, the, the parts that have been dripped off the side and just reiterating along the edges. That looks good. Everything looks so pretty, y'all. This purse is gorgeous. This this is pretty. It's like when you seal the the um when you seal it in, it magnifies the image, and so it just looks so pretty. I might be keeping this one. I have another image I want to do, but I'm just, I need another mold, I mean another frame. So, I just wanted to use my last two of this particular frame before I do the next one. And the next one will be a poured purse, so, with the molds and all that good stuff. Because these is the last two I have of this until I can... Get some more. I'm working with the supplier to see if I can provide these for you guys at a decent price, of course, because they are the the the, the um personal of uh, hardware and all. They are quite expensive. These are not cheap at all. And so, so while that's sitting, I'm just kind of letting letting it do what it do. I do will not put this in the um, resin heater. I will not put this in there. Um, the shells I don't put in the resin heater. I let them air cure, um, just kind of sit overnight. It just gives keeps it smooth and everything looking good. I see something, either some hair or. Piece of hair. That's why you constantly want to look and make sure you're checking it against the light because that'll let you know if you have any imperfections or uh, voids, things that is not covered, all of that. Check it against the light. Super important. You can see if you have, um, like I just saw that hair in there, debris. Tell me that's not on my purse. Okay. Like a piece of black tape or something. Now I gotta go back and fill that right on back in. But it'll even it'll level out and even itself out. So don't worry about that. Just you just want it to be smooth as possible. This is super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with some heat, making sure I get all my bubbles out. I'm just going to tilt this a little bit because I need my shell to stay even. And it looks like something is off. Okay, there we go. But that is looking good. I'm just putting, taking 
taking the resin off the sides and putting it on top. And on my corners. Something. Such a perfectionist. Oops. So I have a C that's something gonna happen. Oh, there we go. I need that to lay out straight. Okay, don't look too bad. Okay, that's why you constantly checking, you constantly checking it. So what I'm seeing now is my little C's on the end is like coming up just a little bit. And we don't want that. And we want to hope everything just stay perfect. So far so good. All right. I'm not going to keep pondering and messing because then we'll never get it right or never, it'll never be right. So that looks good so far. Now I'm going to torch it just to keep get it smooth, get the bubbles out. That's on the surface. Yeah, she is pretty, and now like I know that I can do, girl, I can do this for like heat transfer, which I have some. That's gonna be cute. I like I like this little logo look. And I designed this on Cricut, so I'm on the Cricut, Cricut Cut machine. Funny little story. Went to the store to get this this black vinyl that I use for this. And was like, do you could you um, direct me to the Cricut supplies and why they send me to the books until she realized what it was like maybe 15 minutes later after I then walked all over Walmart she was like I thought about it and uh, I knew I, I, I figured you were asking for that instead of yeah, even the guy, I was like, could you tell me where is the cricket stuff? He was like, you're going in the right direction. 
I get over there and it is literally the bugs. The bug area for bugs and insects and all that stuff. And I was like, really? Do these people not know that? Yeah. So, yeah, just a little funny little little story. <laughs> but that is pretty much it. We're going to come back, do our, um, do the frame. And I'm just going to hit it with a little, keep my eye on it. Come back and hit it a few times with the heat. And we'll come back when it's all done, put it together. We're going to put the frame together, put the side shells in, and she'll be finished. Put our last little embellishments on it. Y'all, and she's going to be done. So sit tight. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell, and come on back so y'all can see the finished product or the next step, which is the side shields, okay? All right. All right, guys. We are back with our shell. We're going to go ahead and put the um, inside sound absorption in it, and to just which is this felt sheet here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. What I'm doing now is going around and I'm clipping off with my nippers these little drips. As you can see them right here from when the resin ran off of the shell. And so I'm just going to take my nippers around it and nip those off. It's quite simple. Just to try to nip them, nip them off a little bit. This side don't have a lot. And I'm just going through. Nipping them away. And this helps it to lay in the um, frame e evenly without um, having these bumps in there to keep you from laying it smooth and flush. Yep, and we get these little bit here because of the angle of my nippers, I couldn't make it flush with the um with the frame and it's real simple it don't take that long i'm just making sure we good and solid all the way around okay that looks great all right All right, so we're going to take our Maj Paj. That one is empty. And open up another bottle. And we're going to squeeze this in here generously. And then brush it. On the inside, I'm just taking my brush, making sure I'm going up along the corners and edges with it. And this is Maj Paz. This is just going to help me glue the um, felt down on the inside so that it'll stick. It is also going to give it some sound absorption when they put their keys in here. It won't sound, you won't hear all that clackety clack and whatnot I'm just getting all the extra off 
And then with our felt paper, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the corners, cut a slit into each corner. This is going to help me be able to fold the corners in easily. And then we're going to go ahead and position it on in there. And don't worry if you get Maj Podge on the inside. It's going to dry clear. So I'm just lining everything up nice and even on one side and then I'll cut the excess off on the other. And line up the corners so everything is laying nice and smooth and flush. There's no um, ripples in the fabric. Everything is laying nice and smoothly. So what I'm doing in these corners is I am overlapping them and then this particular one I'm just going to cut, cut those out so that it's flush and tuck it back down. Coming back, doing the same thing on this corner. So that they can lay. Just cutting that little excess off and tucking it into the corners. And then I'm going to set this in front of the fan so that the Maj Podge can dry. And it's going to dry clear. And then we'll go ahead and add, um, put our frame on once it is dried all the way. So I'm just cutting those corners off as well because, again, we want it to sit nice and flush. And when it's dry, you can clean it up a little bit more along the edges. But right now, that's the inside. So we're going to set this to the side to dry, and then we're going to start working on our... Um, our side shields in the frame. Sit tight. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put in our side shields. I have my two um, transparent um, sheets here. They are five by four. I'm trying to get this, um, I guess, some resin that I dripped off or basically. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just get our shell out. I mean, get our uh, frame out. We want to double check, make sure all the hardware is there. Make sure it claps correctly, opens up. Yep, okay. Got that part right. All right. So now we're going to take our side shields, which we have here. They are five wide by four tall and what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down to size in our little triangle like we always do starting from the point at the top and coming down so what i like to do is draw my little line there so i can see where to cut it and then we're going to come to this other side and we're going to do the exact same thing from the corner. See how I'm drawing from the corner down and that's where we're going to cut our triangle out so that we can place it into the side shield so I like to line them up 
and then cut them both at the same time so they're at least and it might be a little bit harder than I than I thought something's not cutting right with those scissors maybe I ought to maybe try to cut one something wrong with my scissors okay there we go I guess it just didn't want to cut out right for some reason or another and so we're going to do the same for this one pieces away and then we have our two side shields so this have a like a film over it to protect it I guess so I'm gonna get that off pull the film off and then we have our double sided tape here I'm gonna measure it out to size measure it out to size there. I'm going to go ahead and cut that and split it up the middle to give me two pieces because you don't need this wide. Now you can use, um, and this is like a foam super double sided tape. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, I was looking for some more so I'm not sure if they still carry it. So this is our side shield. We have this. We have our tape. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and kind of lay it in here just to kind of see what I wanted to do. And then we're going to place this strip of double-sided super glue tape. Remove the backing. Place it in the side of the frame nice and flush and then we're going to take our popsicle stick or anything that you can put in fit in between the frame and smash that up against it so that it will adhere and then we're going to flip it around and do the same thing to the other side make sure you put the tape on the right side of the um side shield so that you can just kind of fold it in there let me move it back so you can see what I'm doing peel my tape off and I'm just going to fold it fold it in there making sure it's placed all the way down and then take my popsicle stick and press it and that's one and then I'm gonna check it like so it looks pretty good it's gonna keep all the belongings on the inside I don't have much um, takeaway at the bottom so that's pretty good so we can fold like so now we're gonna do the other side same thing Film off. Film off. Then we're going to measure our tape again just to kind of give us an idea. We don't want to stick it. Just to kind of give us an idea of how much we need. tape is really sticky and it's durable I have not had any problems with it holding together 
even when I had to repair a purse, when I had to tear it apart, this tape was like, hey, it was in there. I was like, okay, it's pretty good. And it's called a double-sided double super glue tape. I think it's what they call it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our other side in. And then glue the shells down. And we're going to be all set. Same thing, take it and lay it up against, flush up against this inner line. So I'll just push it down in there. Take my stick and press it right in that groove. A nice press. Flip it in. Take the other sheet and do the exact same thing. Making sure I put the tape on the right side. Stick that down in there. Get it nice and flush. Making sure it's down in there pretty good. And then take your stick and press it. And then that should be our side shields is done. Okay, that'll keep all of the belongings from falling out. And it'll have it where the purse will have a stop on it. So our next thing is to glue our frames in. So we're going to start with the first frame. that I already, I did first, not the one that I just did, but I did one previously and it should be dry enough to go in here. So I have my fix-all. And I like to use the fix-all for these because it's controllable, right? So let me make sure we can fit everything in here before we glue and just double checking making sure everything fits in here nice and snug and cute and all of that good stuff we want to make sure that um, the felt is in the frame and not being separated from the shell when we put it in. So that's important. And so that looks pretty good there. And so now we're gonna come back and make sure our frame uh -oh, is good along the edges and that looks that looks pretty good okay and so then we'll glue it okay that looks good so we're gonna pop it back out everything is able to fit and we're gonna go ahead and glue so we have our Dollar Tree Fix All Glue. I love this glue. Um, it's whoa, it's coming out already. And I'm gonna start with a nice line and trail that all the way around in that groove of the frame. Being careful along the side shields, and then just keeping that continuous bead of glue all the way around and then capping it off all right so we're going to start just like we did with our bottom positioning it positioning it so that i can make sure that the felt 
goes in. I see like right here, I see that the felt did not go all the way in on this corner. So I'm gonna move that side shield out the way and push the felt in. on my fingertips as I touch and move the side shield out the way. We want to make sure that the corners and everything is tucked in to the frame like it should be. And this just requires a little patience and a little, you know, a little patience, a little wiggle, a little wiggling, if you will, of getting it all in place. And once it's in place, you can go back and check and make sure that everything is, is good. So like this corner, I need to... Okay, that's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, so we got the one side in. And once everything dry, you can clean it up. It's quite simple. Nothing sticks um, to the plastic for a long time. So we have one of the sides in. We're going to go ahead and put the glue for this second one. Now this, on the second one, you will be able to see that it has the where the latch is. I don't put glue where the latch is. Where the mechanism for the latch is at. I refrain from putting glue there. Just taking it along that frame And stopping it right there. All right, and so this is the other side shield, I mean, the other frame, and so we're going to go ahead and attach this one in as well. making sure that the felt is going into the frame and not buckling and then we're going to go ahead and let me try to open it and see how we're looking on the inside it's looking pretty good there and then we're gonna 
put something on it so that it can dry and that's pretty much how this is going to be guys so let me go ahead and put some on top come back so we can finish it up <music> 